The Ministry of Health recently received an ISO tank of liquid oxygen from Martinique to assist with the surging in demand for oxygen at the respiratory hospital. The oxygen procured will be used to treat COVID-19 patients at the respiratory hospital. Medical Director at the Respiratory Hospital, Dr. Alicia Eugene Ford, says she is elated about the boost in oxygen supply given the greater demand for oxygen at the hospital. Oxygen therapy is a very important arm when it comes to treating COVID-19. And over the last few weeks, we have noticed an increase in the number of patients that are coming that are very ill, requiring more and more oxygen. It is a very expensive process to allow us to get it. Martinique has the cases as well to deal with. We actually had a boat from Dominica who came across to drop this tank for us and they too have to deal with the cases. So we're asking us and Lucians, do what we need to do. Mask up, hand hygiene, isolate, um, vaccinate. If you have to vaccinate, you need to vaccinate, vaccinate. General Manager of Winwood Island Gases Limited, Lucas Lubin, says the fourth wave of COVID-19 has put a strain on their supply of oxygen and therefore must explore options to provide oxygen to the hospital. Normally, the hospitals, in particular Victoria Hospital, would have done, um, say, about 240 cylinders of our oxygen in almost two weeks. And right now, the demand is so high that we end up doing about 240 cylinders per day. And right now, as of two days ago, it has ramped up to 300 cylinders per day. It has put us a sort of a strain on our productive um, capacity and because we do have a plant and as well as we do import oxygen to compensate for any differences. And as a result of that um, significant demand and, and so that we had to maintain that, uh, maintain supply in the hospitals, we ensured that we had a, 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 more tanks to be able to supply the hospitals, in particular um, Victoria Hospital. The purchasing of the ISO tank of liquid oxygen was made possible through the efforts of the government of St. Lucia, Winwood Island Gases Limited, and the government of Martinique. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness, and Elderly Affairs, I am Penal Neptune.